yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> well, three Nelsons are with us. Ozzy died in 1975, but Harriet and David and Rick are with us to reminisce about Ozzy and Harriet. And the family. It's nice to see you all. It Thank really you. is Thank a you. pleasure. Thank you. And like the song says, we're still here. <laughs> <laughs> How much of what we saw on the screen had anything to do with you as a family? Was any of it based on what went on in the relationships in your family? When you guys Mom? want to answer that? Oops. Well, he was always shorter than uh, I was on the show. <laughs> it's yeah. no longer true. <laughs> right. right. A lot of, uh, we, we, there were a lot of things that came out of it, like uh, when the two of them started doing the aerial act, we did a circus show right. so that we could use that. And when they, when they started fooling around with motorcycles, we did a motorcycle uh, hill run show. Right. I guess that's what you call it, right? I think so. Hill climbing. Right. <laughs> hill climbing, yeah, right. right. And things like that. But, um, you know, specific incidents. Not so no. much. What about relationships between boys? I mean, I, I imagine, like most families, if not all, you, you, know, you get in arguments, you get angry at each other, you don't get along, you do get along, or whatever those things. How, how, do you, how did you shut that off? Or did you? And if you I don't think we did. We did didn't we? really, no. No. <laughs> really? We used it in the show. It was uh, like a running gag. It's like role playing, you know, to take it very seriously. Nowadays, we got a chance to do it on the air in front of millions of people. Right. So. But it wasn't a problem, uh, you know, doing a scene where you're getting along when really after they say cut, you were trying to pound each other in the nose. Did you remember? Did that ever happen? Harry? No, I don't think any of the fights were that serious, you uh, know. Yeah. Or hey, something time. short of that. Yeah, right. The time you hit Dad. You know. <laughs> what? What? Harriet hit Ozzy? But how, huh. how typical was your television family? Not that there is a typical American family. I'm not sure what that really means. But how typical was your television family, do you think? What did uh, it represent, Harriet? I think it represented middle America. Ozzy came from a family in New Jersey. His dad was a banker. And uh, he came from that kind of a home, you know, he, he went to a public school and then he went to Rutgers University and, and it was, mine was a little different. I came from that kind of a family, but my mother and dad were in show business, so I was born in the theater. And you started early. How old were you when you first went in front of people for money? Six weeks, do you believe it? Six weeks? Uh -huh. and you got they carried paid? me on and I gave a superb performance. <laughs> <laughs> I stayed asleep the entire time. What, uh, Rick and David, what about you growing up? How would you describe your growing up? There you were on an you know, you were stars the whole time you were growing up for like, what, 16 years? That's amazing. How would you describe your childhoods? Oh, I think it was fairly normal, you know. I mean, to, to us, it was normal because it was the only child that we knew, really. But yeah. uh, we always went to uh, public schools all the way along right. and had friends outside of show business. So, you know, I, I think we could uh, kind of balance everything off, really. Well, your dad being the producer, director, had control of the show. And I think it probably would have been different or a little strange had we been child actors, quote. But we were really... Um, you know, he arranged the shooting schedule so we could have football practice and whatever we were doing. So uh, it wasn't it was like controlled. you missed something to become stars or something like that. It, it, it would have been tough if we, if we were growing up in Nebraska and had a television show there. But being in Hollywood, so many of the kids are either involved with uh, show business families or their parents are behind the scenes, and it, it was fairly normal. Harry, did you ever have any problems at the time? At least, I mean, concerns in your mind that they were missing anything because they were working and so forth no because we used to work around them yeah. if they had particular things to do why then Ozzy would uh, I was always on call I went in every day you know and right. I was a standby right. so that if one of them couldn't make something <laughs> mom was there to take up the slack and rewrite literally oh he'd just do scenes he'd jump around and do right. scenes that we were in that they weren't in you know how would you all describe Ozzy not to take you into <laughs> that's going to take me the next half hour <laughs> he was um he was a most wonderful man he was he was bright and energetic and uh enthusiastic and loved people and uh 
and uh, he was generous and kind and shall I go on? No, oh, I think he I He was understand. just about everything that was superior as far as I'm concerned and I think that yeah. goes for them too. He loved kids and he always brought that with him right. on the show and I think he kind of felt that watching the show that he did. If I couldn't find him at the beach in Laguna Beach, I'd just look down and wherever there was a circle of little kids, he'd be sitting in the middle and uh, he was always like that. You know, I, I always a admired Dan so much that, uh, you know, I, I was always amazed that he could, uh, you know, be involved as a director and, and, right. and things, and, and, and also, uh, you know, as a father, too, and do so well at, at both things, I mean, and... Uh, Are you able to watch the reruns now without, uh, what, dissolving an emotion or... Well, I wasn't for a long time, but the last, uh, I've been watching now for about the last six months, and, and really appreciating his performances. He loved to do stunts, you know. He, he, was, he was the world's biggest ham when it came to say, and he was a very funny man. And we, when we did the show, I was so involved in it that you get so it's not funny to you. You know how it is when you're doing material. Mm -hmm. But now that I, in retrospect, I can sit back now and really enjoy his performances. He's a funny man. It's really nice meeting you, Harriet, David, Rick. We've met before in the past. What are you all doing now? You're both still in the biz, you're working, yeah, Rick? Yeah, I, I just, as a matter of fact, last night I did the uh, Oklahoma State Fair. In the last night? Last night. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, I'm, so you're busy, David? Yeah, I'm producing and directing now. I have a commercial company in Los Angeles and just finished a feature directing. Harriet, you're goofing off a little bit? I'm goofing off, yeah. That's great. <laughs> I live down Laguna Beach and just enjoy myself and, and my family. Good place to do it, isn't it? Yeah. Laguna Beach.